off the new record. Thank you. 
fine. It's fine. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, I have to think about what I'm doing. Hold on. So, oh, well, yeah, I got that. Yeah. First thing, yeah. First thing I want to do is say thanks again for everyone who has played before me tonight. First, I want to say thank you to John. I heard multiple people say to me that is the most wonderful that they've heard her play in the last year and a half. I, 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 I don't know if that's true, but... And, and then Cynthia, of course, has been such a fun, fun friend to work with and to write the most arrangement of I'll get to gushing about the pottery later in the set, but I have lots of that to do. Um, so, this, this, this instrument is called a viola caipira. It's a Brazilian folk instrument. And it's fun, it's kind of easy to play. It's the instrument of the people, we say. Oh, save the moon. 
song one day, and she just kind of like timidly knocked on the door and was like, can I listen? And then she came in and she just laid on the floor and, and just listened to me play the song. It was kind of stressful because I was just in there <laughs> working this song out. And, um, but I felt like that was a sign. So when I went to record it, I asked and she was like, of course, well, let me sing on it. So now we are singing together on this stage and it's wonderful. All right. So here we go. Just a pile of dirt, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
one point. We were practicing, and I was like, wouldn't it be funny if my song entitled To the Victor Goes Regret, I had to perform it right after the results of the thing. And then, so here we go. Phase. And uh, 
and I decided to like, you know, touch it up a little bit, revamp it, and get rid of some of the, you know, toxicity and so forth. And um, and so uh, one of the things that I I, I, I did was I asked Anna if she wanted to sing on some of these songs, and and she very very yeah, yeah. kindly uh, came over and uh, worked really hard and learned these songs, and now we're going to do them together. So. So we're gonna do this one, which actually isn't on the record, but it's from that same uh, that same that same sad sad time. So now we're going into the sad part of the set. And I apologize. Now that I have your attention. Of course, you know, are you in the sad? No. <laughs> we all have to do it sometimes. Aren't you happy? Are you not happy? I'll make you. I'll make you happy. I'll make you happy. Don't make. Don't make me make you happy. It's called vestigial cast.
few more sweet, sensitive songs for you. Actually, this one's more of a folky number. Um, several years ago, I read this essay by Bertrand Russell called In Praise of Idleness. Does anybody know this one? Yes. Anyway, I was like, I need to write a song that's like really kicking the American work ethic, work ethic in like the pants. And that's what this is. It's called When John Henry uh, Got to Heaven.
over here with Donna. Okay, so now is part of the uh, now is the part of the uh, the program where we uh, where we talk about our love for this place. So. friend and I asked her one time, I was like, what should I write my next song about? And she's like, you should write your next song about that bar you're always talking about. I was like, oh, okay, I'll write my next song about that bar I'm always talking about. She meant this place. And clearly I hadn't described it very well. So this song is about getting drunk and passing out on the couch back there. It's called One, one Night Stumble.
unfortunately. I, really? I know. It's like it's gone so fast. I need to find my gate books in my pocket. I had that moment of panic where I was afraid I didn't have everything I needed. No, I have one. It's right here. There are several around. This is my favorite one. So, let's see. Um, this next one's about leaving town, but not about leaving this town, actually. About leaving any town that you've lived for a long time. And the feeling of moving on, you know? All of all the things that were once really important that you did again. Landmarks and nostalgias and things like that. Kind of change. I think that probably, you know, it's encapsulated by that, 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 that Portuguese word, saudade, you know? What does it mean? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it means, yeah, it's a, it's a sort of an intranslatable word, but it kind of means like longing for longing. It's like this emptiness that's left behind when something that has gone away. It's because the Portuguese were this maritime empire and they had all these sailors that would leave and be like, okay, see you, honey, in a year, and then poof. And then, you know, you spend the rest of your life kind of like thinking about that last moment and, and thinking, you know, just having to process that, you know, it's just gone. But that's not exactly what this is about because the town is not a sailor. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> they stay in one place. <laughs> anyway, this song is called So Long St. Louis. Goodbye, so do I 
so do I. Running from some other life, but to face the 
some other way to face the face the words the words you need to say Vai levando meu amor 
men's tournament, everybody. I can't tell you enough of what a crucial and integral part of the pottery universe that Ben has been for the last, I don't know how many years, seems like longer than it probably really was, but or it has been so far, so far. I know he's coming back to us. But I mean, everything from writing great songs um, and playing every kind of instrument to helping out so many people in the community uh, produce their records and get their songs together. Uh, he also um, does emergency plumbing and electrical repairs. And he has uh, saved the day on countless occasions here at the shop just by his wily cleverness. And uh, we're um, so excited for you to be going on this journey to Brazil. Everybody's so thrilled about it. It's going to be so cool to you. We can't wait to hear everything. Hey, you can follow me on the social media. <laughs> Go to my website. And you can buy t-shirts. They're gorgeous. They are hand printed by my good friend Mr. Craig, who's around here some place. Those t-shirts are dope. They're really dope. Look at the back of them. There's this I mean the front's cool too, but the whole thing is just a gorgeous little thing. And uh yeah. And don't forget the cassettes. I know you all have a cassette. Don't forget the cassettes. They have hand printed in the car. Somewhere, somewhere. In some old car, you know, your great grandpa's truck. They're cool to look at. They had, well, they had a hand printed J card also made by Craig. It's like made by hand with screen printing presses and stuff. So Craig! Like, yeah, Craig, by the way. Wherever he is, he doesn't like public adulation. He's probably hiding somewhere. Wherever you are, you're an amazing person. Thank you. Okay, let's hear it for X on the sound. And, and for Molly, and uh, Ogie, and Caroline, and, um, and Luke, and Casey, and everybody who helped out with the food design. All that stuff. Don't forget to, uh, well, first of all, hang on for a little bit. I think there's still some weird oh stuff back there. So sorry. Uh, but don't forget, you know, it, man. if somehow you didn't manage to hit the tip jar on your way in, that can happen. Just trying to see about. what the other side Yeah, look, here, let's show. Yeah. That's that cool snake. So, oh, Parting of the serpent is the outlaw. Oh, These guys have to get on some of that. Got a oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I don't know if any of you have been down to uh, Brazil. Yeah. I don't know the full origin story. I'll come back. One of the coolest rooms around. A real inspiration for this place. That's, uh, when is that, Ben? Uh, December 6th, it's a Friday in St. Louis. Should you be there? Should you happen to be there? It's a wonderful place to be. Uh, I think that's it. The uh, pottery is going to be on a short hiatus for a little while. But Stay tuned to the social medias because we've got a lot of really cool stuff coming down the road. Thanks for coming on, everybody. I don't know. I'll have to poke around in there. I suspect anything smaller than large probably will come by.